time. Samantha, what are you holding? So this is a rose hair tarantula. Her name is Rosie. And she's here um, because she is in our reptile and in invertebrate building, which is open during Winter Wonderland. So you won't see her necessarily, but you'll see some of her cousins. We have a nice big bird-eating tarantula, which is quite a bit larger on display in there, as well as some fantastic reptiles. I would love to hold the tarantula. I never thought those words would come out of my mouth. <laughs> I am now holding a tarantula. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I got it on video there. No Adam. sudden movements. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I want a picture of this. Can you do a still shot of this too? We can do it after. It's after? Funny. <laughs> it's funny because the animals that you think are going to bite or, or be the most dangerous are the ones that usually don't bite. It's the furry, cuddly, cute ones that usually bite. That is a tarantula in my hand. I am going to slowly give that back to you, Samantha. That might have been... Oh, my God. I got it. Okay, there we go. There we go. I'm screaming like a man. I'm trying not to scream like a 13-year-old girl and try and scream like a man. So Awesome festive event. And we have singing penguins, so you can't miss that. Singing penguins? I am now holding a chinchilla. Uh, I, looked, I thought it was a rabbit. Oh, my God, is that soft. Incredibly I, soft. Oh, my God. This Unfortunately, is... Unfortunately, that's what companies make chinchilla fur coats out of. Oh, I've got some meetings today. This smells a little bit. Um, okay, <laughs> that's okay. They're not too bad. They're actually a very clean animal. Oh, they live in the it. mountains in South America, in the Andes Mountains, and they actually crawl into crevices, and there's no water up there, so to keep clean, what they do is scratch on the rocks, create a dust, and roll around in it. I don't want to ever let go of this chinchilla. Isn't it beautiful? I want a chinchilla for Christmas. This, no, I don't, actually. I just wanted to hold one and, and give it back. And we use chinchillas in our Zoomobile program through our nonprofit, Earth Limited, at Southwick Zoo. And the reptile building is nice and warm, so if you come on a cool night to Winter Wonderland, you can definitely heat up. Okay, I'm now holding a bearded dragon. <laughs> Not as warm and fuzzy as the ginger. Not yeah. warm and fuzzy at all. And, uh, oh, look at the little bearded dragon. Look at the tickle, tickle, tickle bearded dragon. This is, uh, this is pretty unique. I've seen uh, guanas uh, in Mexico. They're very elusive creatures. I've never held one. He's looking, yes, I have a beard too, see? We both have beards. Okay. Is he happy? Yeah. How do you know if he's happy? She's relaxed. She? <laughs> yeah. She's relaxed. Yeah, okay, I'm just checking. <laughs> oh, wow, you, you could really... Now, what am well, I you, feeling You can't here? tell whether it's a male or female externally. Right. What am I feeling here? So that's just part of, it's just part of her skin. Um, so it's just extra rough to help her blend in with her sandy desert environment where she would be found. And then those spikes on the side aren't really spiky right now, but when the bearded dragons get scared, they actually inflate their skin with air and puff up. And so those spikes protrude a bit more and it becomes harder to hold them and grab them. All right, so it's uh, not 7.30 in the morning yet, and I've already held a bearded dragon, a tarantula, and a chinchilla. What have you done today, people? It's gonna be a great day. Winter Wonderland, check it out online, southwickzoos.com slash winterwonderland for all of the information now through January 6th. I'm looking forward to checking that out, and I'm also looking forward to getting some nice weather and then going back to see all of the animals in 2019.